Welcome to the Calgary Minor Softball Umpires Association Arbiter Sports Orientation. I'm going to take you through what it takes to get on Arbiter, how you set up your own schedule, what you do when you're assigned games, and how you set up your profile. So this is the email you receive from Arbiter when we put you on the system. It'll tell you how you sign in, the steps, what you should do first, how you get further help, and it talks about our website briefly. So in the section where it says, how do I sign in, it'll provide you with a link to go to Arbiter Sports. It'll have your username and password here, and we'll change our password as soon as we log in. So we'll click on the link. and it'll take us to the main page. In the top right corner, we'll click on Login, and we'll enter our credentials here. And of course, our password is in the email, it is test. Once we've logged in, it'll ask us to answer security questions. These questions will be used to recover your account if you forget your password. There will be two questions here. Please make both of the questions different. Once we've finished that, it'll take us to the Terms and Conditions page. Once we've read through the legal documentation, we hit the Accept button in the bottom left. From here, it'll take us to change our password. We enter our current password and then a new password. Our new password has to be a minimum of seven characters and contain at least one letter and one number. Once we've done that, we'll press change. This screen shows us that our password has been OK. We'll press OK to continue. Here is our My Referee profile. This is just a basic profile for Arbiter Sports. We'll have a more in-depth profile when we get onto our own association system. So I've changed our sports to softball, and I will select Youth Recreation as my main sport that I officiate, and I'll press Add. Once I've done that, I'm gonna press Save, and we'll move on to the next screen. This is the main screen we get to when we're on our association's Arbiter website. A few announcements will be posted on this page, but the majority will be on the Calgary Minor website at cmsua.ca. If we read the announcement, it tells us our first step is to update our profile. Second step is to change our blocks. Third step is to say we are ready to be assigned. And our fourth step is to check our schedule. So we'll go to the top right to our profile. Here we'll enter our name, last name, email address. Those will be done by me. We'll add our phone number in by pressing the green plus sign. Entering our phone number. The type of phone it is. Who our carrier is. We can select this box if we'd like our phone number to be public to the other officials on the website. We could add a note in about our phone number. We can test it by sending a text message to the number or we can delete it. Once we've done that we'll go down and enter our address our city province, and our postal code. After that, we'll ensure that the system knows we are in Canada. Any other information you'd like to enter, such as your Softball Canada umpire number, you can enter it in this box. Other than that, we can press the Save button and move on to the next step. It takes us back to the main page, and we can see our steps again. So step two, is to go to the Blocks tab at the top. This allows us to put in our schedule and our availability. So we see there's already some blue sections here. 
These means that I have games assigned to me already. To block days off, which mean I'm not available to umpire here, I'm going to go to the left hand side and click on block all day or block part day. I selected block all day and now I'm going to put some days where I'm not available to umpire. If I have a repeating commitment, I'll use the date range on the right hand side. For example, if I practice on Mondays and Fridays, I'll select the days of the week. The starting date, for example, April 18th, and the ending date of July 30th. Then I'll hit apply, and these settings will be loaded on for every month. Now I'm blocked every Monday and every Friday for the date range I selected. Once our blocks are complete, we're going to go back to the main page by clicking main on the top left corner. Step three is to select the ready to be assigned box on this page. It's in the top right corner. I'm only going to click on it. We'll let the page refresh and now we're ready to be assigned. Now we wait for the games to come in. The games will show up on the schedule tab. I've been assigned four different games. Our first game, my position is home plate. The day and time is Tuesday the 19th. The sport and level softball, Pee Wee Division 1. And the location is Vista Heights, diamond number 7. The teams will be listed here during the season so you know who you will be umpiring. The fees will also be updated. In the status box, it tells you how long you have to accept the game, and you can do so by hitting accept or decline if you're not able to. So Tuesday, I'm able to umpire that game, so I'll press accept. Thursday, I'm also available to umpire that. Wednesday, I might have something going on. I should have blocked that already, but if I didn't, I'll press decline. Game four, we see this game is in Airdrie. This might be too far for me. That's okay. I'm also going to press decline. Once I've selected an option for all four games, I'm going to press the submit button at the bottom. The games I've declined will pop up and I'm asked to put a comment in. In this section, I'd just like to know a reason why you're not able to accept the game. For example, you have a commitment that day or the location is too far for you. So on this Wednesday game, I have a different thing to go to, so I'll say I am already committed. If this is the case, make sure you update your schedule to make sure that you're blocked all the days that you're not able to umpire. Our second game here is in Airdrie, and I'm not able to get there on time, so I'm going to say this game is too far for me to go to. Whatever your comment is, I'd just like to know why you're, able, not, why you're not able to accept the game. After that, I'll press continue. And once it loads, loads, the games that I have accepted are right here. If there's anything I want to know about the game, I can press the game number to the left and it'll show me a screen. So this game here, there are two positions. I've just accepted the position for home plate. And you see here, there's another umpire who will be the first base umpire for me. I see on the right hand side, an email and phone numbers for both the officials. I'll press exit to return to the main screen. This completes most of the Arbiter Sports orientation. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate, hesitate to contact us. Again, make sure that your blocks are up to date and accept the games quickly and as soon as you can. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.